Embark on a transformative odyssey, delving into the mesmerizing realm of the vulva, the wise women who mastered the ancient arts of cedar. Steeped in mysticism, these sacred practices were introduced by the goddess Freya and embraced by the mighty Odin himself. Through the lens of modern understanding, we may perceive these traditions as witchcraft, spellcraft, and mediumship. However, the essence of the Volar's path transcends such classifications, encompassing a profound communion with the elemental forces that shape the very fabric of the universe. Vuelva, singular or or plural. The practice of Vuelvar, rooted in ancient times, encompassed both male and female practitioners who delved into the mystical arts. While the term Vulvar is often associated with female practitioners, it is important to recognize that gender did not limit one's ability to engage in the sacred rituals and practices of the Vuelvar tradition. In Norse society, individuals of all genders had the potential to possess the knowledge and skills necessary to connect with the spiritual realms. Alongside the esteemed female Vulur, there were male practitioners known as sidemen or sidemen, who held similar roles and responsibilities within their communities. Both male and female Vulur were revered for their wisdom, abilities and their ability to channel the energies of the universe. They provided guidance, performed divination, and offered insights to those seeking their counsel. Norse mythology and culture embraced the diverse and inclusive nature of the Vulvar tradition, celebrating the spiritual gifts and talents of individuals regardless of their gender. In Norse society, the practice of cider was predominantly associated with women, although gender roles and perceptions were not fixed and varied across different contexts and time periods. While cider was generally considered a feminine art, there were instances where men also engaged in its practice. A connection of cider with women and the perception of it as a gentler or non-warrior pursuit may have been influenced by prevailing cultural norms and societal expectations of masculinity during that era. Norse society highly valued warrior skills and physical strength, which potentially led to a perception of men involved in mystical or magical practices being weak, even though Odin himself was embracing the art of Seder. Different branches of the Old Norse society may have been embracing different aspects of their pantheon, or not at all. While the people of magic were very familiar with the secret messages, the stories of other worldly beings held, and the meaning of the secret rooms, in the enchanting tapestry of Norse mythology, the clash of good and evil does not hold sway. By peering beyond the veil of dualism, we unlock a deeper comprehension of the Vulor's significance. They were not agents of wickedness or malevolence, rather they harmonized with the delicate equilibrium of the cosmos. Their sacred rituals formed threads in a grand tapestry where darkness and light intertwined, unveiling the intricate dance of existence itself. The Vulor's wisdom and guidance extended beyond personal matters. They played pivotal roles in matters of governance, offering counsel to kings and leaders. Their ability to foresee the outcomes of battles and make prophetic declarations influenced strategic decisions and shaped the course of events. In addition to their prophetic abilities, the Vulva also possessed healing and magical powers. They could provide remedies for ailments, offer spiritual purification and perform rituals for protection and prosperity. Their knowledge of herbs, charms and incantations made them indispensable to their communities. The Vulor's presence in religious ceremonies was significant as well. They conducted rituals and sacrifices connecting the mortal realm with the divine realms of the gods and goddesses. Through their interactions with the spiritual forces, they sought to maintain harmony and ensure the well-being of their people. The Vulvar, an ancient figure of profound wisdom and mystical power, traces her roots back to the very origins of time. 
Her lineage reaches deep into the ancient tapestry of human existence. In Norse society, the Vu'lur were respected and revered for their unique abilities and the insights they brought. Their role extended beyond that of mere seers. They were community leaders, healers, advisors, and spiritual guides. The importance of the Vu'lur in Norse society cannot be overstated, as they held the keys to unlocking the mysteries of the past, navigating the challenges of the present, and glimpsing the threads of destiny that wove the future. With the rise of the Christian era, the age of the wise women and men, and their profound wisdom came to a close, marking the fading of Norse myths, magic, and ancient rituals. The spread of Christianity brought with it a different worldview and religious practices, gradually replacing the ancestral beliefs and practices of the Norse people. The rich tapestry of Norse mythology, the mystical arts and the rituals intertwined with nature began to wane as the old ways were supplanted by the new. Yet fragments of this ancient wisdom and folklore persist, echoing through the annals of history and stirring the imagination of those who seek to reconnect with the enchanting legacy of the past. We owe a faint glimmer of gratitude to Snorri Sturluson, a 13th century Icelandic scholar and writer for his work known as the Edda. In this literary masterpiece, Snorri took great care to preserve the rich tapestry of Norse mythology, although he intentionally presented the ancient pantheon as human figures to avoid accusations of witchcraft during a time when supernatural beliefs were met with suspicion. Despite this disguised portrayal, Snorri's Edda provides us with invaluable insights into the gods, goddesses, and mythical tales that form the heart of Norse lore. Through his efforts, the threads of ancient wisdom and divine sagas continue to weave their spell upon our imaginations, connecting us to the realms of gods and heroes of old. Snorri Sturluson, born in 1179 or 1181, truly left an indelible mark on Norse mythology with his renowned work, the Edda. Hidden away on an Icelandic farm, the Edda survived the purge of all ancient wisdom that was conducted by the church at the time. In ancient times, humanity possessed a deeper understanding of the intricate connections between the metaphysical and physical realms. Through the medium of social dramas, individuals were able to traverse the captivating interplay between mortals and divine beings. Immersing ourselves in the wisdom of the Vulu, we gain valuable insights that shed light on our personal journeys, enabling us to tap into their profound knowledge and find illumination along our chosen paths. The Vulu held a revered and esteemed role as practitioners of magic within Norse society. They were not simply chosen, but rather occupied a position of profound significance and authority. Their deep knowledge, unwavering dedication, and spiritual connections allowed them to fulfill the responsibilities bestowed upon them. Through their mastery of Seder, a form of Norse magic, the Vulur communed with the gods, delved into hidden realms of knowledge, and wielded the power to shape natural forces. As bridges between the mortal and divine realms, the Vulur played a pivotal role in upholding the balance and well-being of their communities, their magic serving as a guiding light in times of need. Step into the enchanting realm of the Vulvar, where the veil between the mortal and the divine is lifted, as we will delve into the old Norse art of rune reading. Runes discovered by Odin himself are sacred symbols that resonate with the wisdom of the cosmos. In this episode, we extend a heartfelt invitation for you to embark on a captivating journey that mirrors the timeless traditions of the esteemed wise women. Brace yourself to unveil the concealed significance and profound counsel that lie within the runes as we delve into the vast well of age-old wisdom and set foot upon a transformative quest toward enlightenment. Get ready to unlock the secrets that the runes hold as we unlock the gates to ancient knowledge and embark on an illuminating path of self-discovery.
If you don't have a room set, imagine it with your mind's eye, or craft one with cardboard, wood, or stones, and come back to this session. Embrace the tranquility that surrounds you. For in this moment, stillness becomes your greatest ally. Open yourself to the subtle whispers of intuition. Allow your senses to guide you. Feel the weight of each wound stone in your hand, sensing the energy that emanates from within. Listen to the gentle rhythm of your heart as it synchronizes with the ancient wisdom embedded in these sacred symbols. In this sacred space of connection, let your senses be your compass, leading you towards the profound revelations that await. Now listen inside as your eyes stay closed. (laughs) 